Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm making beautiful Christmas three colored keto sugar cookies. I'd like to let you know that this is a techniques video which uses my keto sugar cookie recipe as the base to make these keto Christmas pinwheel cookies that are keto, sugar free, and gluten free. The macronutrient ratio for the recipe is 3.3 to 1 with 2.6 grams of total carbs, 0.8 grams of soluble fiber, 1.1 gram of insoluble fiber, resulting in only 0.7 gram of net carbs per cookie. Step 1 to this recipe is to make a complete batch of the keto sugar cookie recipe as per my written recipe. And if you like, you can also watch the video recipe which will show you how to make it and provide helpful hints. As well, I will provide the link to the video in the description below. When the sugar cookie dough has been made into a smooth creamy cookie, take it out of the mixing bowl and weigh the total cookie dough, then divide the cookie dough into three equal parts. Then take one third of the dough and wrap it in plastic wrap or parchment and put it into the refrigerator. Place each of the other two soft dough balls into individual bowls. To one bowl add the red gel food color and fold and knead the dough until the gel color is well distributed and the dough is an even red color with no streaks. To the other bowl add the Kelly green gel food color and then fold and knead the dough until the green color is well distributed and the dough has an even green color with no streaks. I'd like to mention that I made two batches of the Keto Christmas Pinwheel Cookies. I was experimenting with color. In this first batch I used a moss green but I really didn't like it. It didn't look cheery and it looked a little bit kind of um, dirty to me. So I made the second batch using Kelly Green. I recommend the Kelly Green because it really comes out nice and bright and looks much more Christmassy. By the way, before starting to roll out the dough, don't forget to refrigerate all three colors of the dough for a minimum of three to four hours or if you have time, refrigerate overnight. That would be ideal. After chilling, take one of the colors of dough and put it onto a sheet of parchment. And either using painter sticks, as I am, or chopsticks, I use these as a guide to ensure even thickness. Place a second sheet of parchment paper on top. Roll the dough with your rolling pin. And then if necessary, trim the dough and re-roll to form perfect rectangles. Place the rolled, trimmed rectangle, parchment and all, onto a cookie sheet and refrigerate. And then do the same for each of the red and the green dough. But please make sure your red and green rectangles are exactly the same width and length of the first or white dough. In other words, the same size as the white rectangle. This is very important if you want really nice cookies. Then just layer these rectangles, parchment and all, on top of your first rectangle and refrigerate all three layers for about 30 to 60 minutes. This will firm up the dough again. This will make it easier to layer and roll. When the rectangles have firmed up a bit, choose which of the colors you want as the outside, either red or green, and lay that as the first layer. I prefer the green on the outside, but it's up to you. The red on the outside looks really happy too. Next, carefully position the white layer to match exactly over the bottom layer. Lastly, carefully place the last colored rectangle on top of the white layer. Now step two is to actually roll the dough into a cylinder. And this is very easy. Just take a hold of the parchment at one end of the rectangle and using your fingers to guide and tuck the dough into itself and using the parchment, roll it just like you would sushi on a sushi mat. A good idea is to apply just enough pressure as you roll and tuck to ensure there are no air pockets or gaps in the roll. You want all the layers to be touching and next to each other with no space in between. After you have finished rolling the three layers into a tube, wrap your cookie tube in the parchment again and place the cylinder back in the refrigerator for another 30 to 60 minutes. You want the dough to firm up because it will be much easier to cut them into even thickness pinwheels. When you're about ready to take the dough out of the refrigerator, it's time to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that your dough cylinder has chilled, unwrap and using a very sharp knife, cut into two centimeter or one quarter inch pinwheels. Then place each pinwheel onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. Leave a bit of space between each of the pinwheels because the cookies will expand when they're baking. When you've cut all your cookies, place the cookie sheet in the middle position of your preheated oven. 
bake for eight to 10 minutes only. Do not over bake. When you first remove the cookies from the oven, you may notice that the cookies will still look very pale. Also, they may look a little bit raw in the center. That's exactly what they should look like. But leave the cookies on the cookie sheet to cool to room temperature. When the cookies are completely cool, use a spatula to remove them off the parchment and to transfer them to a cooling rack. These cookies will be at their best after they've had about eight hours to dry out a bit. However, I have found that the best texture and crispness is achieved if you have the time to leave your cookies air dry overnight and the texture is crispy but yet still soft and melt in your mouth. Enjoy. To everyone, a very Merry Christmas. As always, the link for the Keto Sugar Cookie video and the written Keto Christmas Pinwheel Cookies will be available in the description below.